what is going on ladies and gentlemen is your boy T back with another video i'm going to be checking out the brahmos cruise missiles uh make sure to like and subscribe and uh, you can tell me what you think in the comment section this is one of the i think i think it's the fastest right now in the whole world that is crazy you know and uh it's from india and uh, i think india joined with russia they uh they made this so let's check it out much love guys let's go Cruise missiles have gained a vital role in today's conflicts due to their precision, speed, and versatility. They have the ability to be launched from air, land, sea, and subsea, which makes them a vital asset for deterrence and open combat. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Military TV. Today we're taking a look at the BrahMos missile. As one of the world's fastest supersonic cruise missiles in terms of history, design and features, specifications, and which countries import the missile. Let's one get the started fastest. with the history. In February 1998, India and Russia signed an intergovernmental agreement to establish BrahMos aerospace for producing the BrahMos missiles. BrahMos missiles are designed, developed, and produced by BrahMos Aerospace, a joint venture company set up by Defense Research and Development Organization and Mashinostroyenia of Russia. The company was established on February 12, 1998, with an authorized share capital of $250 million. India holds 50.5% share of the joint venture, and its initial financial contribution was $126.25 million while Russia holds 49.5% share with an initial contribution of $123.75 million. In 2008, BrahMos Aerospace acquired Indian state-owned firm Keltec to manufacture and integrate BrahMos components and missile systems. This was necessary to meet the increased orders received from the Indian Army and Navy. Talking about the missile's name, BrahMos is a combination of the names of Brahmaputra and Moskva rivers. The first BrahMos missile was test-fired from the integrated test range at Chandipur in Orissa coast in June 2001. Since then, the missile has been successfully tested from a variety of platforms, including land-based platforms and warships. Wow. The earliest versions wow. of the ship-launched BrahMos and land-based systems are in service of the Indian Navy and the Indian Army since 2005 and 2007, respectively. In July 2019, BrahMos Aerospace CEO S.K. Mishra told Dordashan a version of the BrahMos with a range of up to 500 kilometers was ready. He had noted it was possible to increase the range of the BrahMos as India was now a signatory to the missile technology control regime. With its speed, it becomes one of the world's fastest supersonic cruise missiles. Now let's see the BrahMos design and features. BrahMos is derived from the Russian-made P-800 Onyx Yonkont supersonic anti-ship cruise missile. The BrahMos propulsion is based on the Onyx, while the guidance system was developed by BrahMos Aerospace. The missile can be configured for land, sea, and aerial platforms. An aircraft... Bro, that is, that, that is crazy. Honestly, I mean, if you look at all that and just how they have managed to, to move everything and make it... India and 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 and, uh, and Russia, they've 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 just done the most. Honestly, they they've just done the most. And you know, you have to give props to them, man. You have to give props to them because it's not easy, you know, to be just to be able to do this. Launch variant Brahmos A is currently being configured for the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircraft of the Indian Air Force (IAF). It features a smaller booster and additional tail fins for greater stability during launch. The ship and land-based BrahMos missiles can carry a conventional semi-armor-piercing warhead of 200 kilograms, while the aerial variant can carry a 300 kilogram warhead. The wow. deep penetration capabilities of the BrahMos was tested successfully in November 2013 at the Pakhran test range in Rajasthan, India. The missile has some special features. They are universal for multiple platforms, fire and forget principle of operation, high supersonic speed all through the flight, long flight range with varieties of flight trajectories, low radar signature, I'm shorter telling flight you, this times is leading to lower target dispersion and quicker engagement. 
pinpoint accuracy with high lethal power aided by large kinetic energy on impact. Dang. Next up, we will talk about the specifications. The BrahMos is equipped with stealth technology, designed to make it less visible to radar and other detection methods. It has an inertial navigation system for use against ship targets and a global positioning system for use against land targets. Terminal guidance is achieved through an active or passive radar. In addition, BrahMos has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and the maximum altitude it can fly is 14,000 meters. 14,000 meters. It has a diameter of 70 centimeters and a wingspan of 1.7 meters. It can gain a maximum speed of Mach 3 and has a maximum range of 450 kilometers. It has a two-stage propulsion system with a solid propellant rocket for initial acceleration and a liquid-fueled ramjet responsible for sustained supersonic cruise. Air-breathing ramjet propulsion is much more fuel-efficient than rocket propulsion, giving the BrahMos a longer range than a pure rocket-powered missile would achieve. This the is high interesting. speed of the BrahMos likely gives it better target penetration characteristics than lighter subsonic cruise missiles such as Tomahawk. Being twice as heavy and almost four times as fast as Tomahawk, the BrahMos has more than 32 times the on-cruise kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile, although it carries only three-fifths the payload and a fraction of the range, which suggests that the missile was designed with a different tactical role. Its 2.8 Mach speed means that it cannot be intercepted by some existing missile defense systems, and its precision makes it lethal to water targets. Man, Although this is BrahMos crazy. was primarily an anti-ship missile, the BrahMos Block 3 can also engage land-based targets. It can be launched either in a vertical or inclined position and is capable of covering targets over a 360-degree horizon. The BrahMos missile has an identical configuration for land, sea, and subsea platforms. The air-launched version has a similar booster and additional tail fins for added stability during launch. The missile has currently Roll. been configured for aerial deployment with the Su-30 MKI as its carrier. On September 5, 2010, BrahMos created a record for the first supersonic steep dive. The last point, let's take a look at which countries import the BrahMos. Several countries, including the Philippines, Vietnam, South Africa, Egypt, Oman, Chile, and Brunei, have expressed interest in the missile. In February 2010, a senior executive said that BrahMos was in negotiations with Chile, Brazil, South Africa, and Indonesia regarding the Man, purchase of the missile. This. Malaysia is also reported to be considering the purchase of the missile for use on its Kata class warships and fighter jets. Informal negotiations are ongoing between India and Vietnam for the sale of BrahMos missiles. Ramos Aerospace has said that several Southeast Asian and Latin American countries have expressed interest in the system, with particular interest in naval and coastal defense versions, and that a definite list of countries exists. Industry sources say that interested countries include Vietnam, Indonesia, and Venezuela. The intergovernmental agreement between India and Russia to develop the BrahMos stipulates that both countries would have to approve an export sale. On April 20, 2016, BrahMos Aerospace spokesman Praveen Prathik said that the first export contract on delivering BrahMos to a country in the Asian Pacific region will be signed by the end of 2016. The Asian Pacific nation would be a friendly nation that neither Russia nor India has any conflicts. In short, BrahMos is the most modern missile system ever developed by India and Russia and has made India a leader in missile technology. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share for I mean, more great content. You you have got to respect these two countries, man. You gotta respect them. Uh, you know what they came up with, and you know just just being able to make one of the greatest and the best actually in the world right now. That's crazy. And you know, I mean, the the two countries are one of the top countries when it comes to. Uh, military when it comes to just you know um you know them strong countries they are like men they are like giants you know so you know it's not a surprise when you see them coming up with something like this man i gotta respect them you know all those things that are being said there it's just i was just seeing that and be like what is going on you know
because I mean you you can't go head to head with that you know what they were saying there you can't go head to head I don't know what you guys think tell me in the comment section but that was impressive really really impressive and uh, I'll check out more off camera of course and um, yeah that is it man you can tell me more videos check in the comment section much love peace